Hey guys, MGH here and welcome to a probably very controversial video. Um, I know these types of videos can get quite a lot of negative feedback because it is massively someone's own opinion. And um, you probably read in the title that I'm going to be going ahead and doing my team of the season in the Barclays Premier League. The players that I think deserve to be in the, you know, the best 11. Um, and it's difficult because the one that you're going to see from EA today is... It's going to include some of these players, but it might be a little bit different as well. It's, it's difficult for me to be impartial, um, and I hope you guys can be kind enough to leave constructive feedback if you disagree with any of my choices. But just please remember, this is completely my own opinion from the games that I've watched this year, and these are the 11 players that I would put into my top 11. Now also, if you do want to buy some coins, guys, check out the gamekeys.co.uk, link in the description. Automatic service, you get your coins within three seconds, and you can get 5% off using the discount code MGH. Anyway, we're going to start off with goalkeeper, which is easy for most people, but for me, actually, I had two choices, and it's difficult. The first one who isn't going to make it, but I think should have a shout-out, is Marshall. Now, this guy has been phenomenal for Cardiff this year. And I think without him, I think they would have been, you know, relegated a long time ago. So I wanted to give a special shout out to Marshall. Um, I think he's done an incredible job this year and arguably the second best keeper in the league this year. I don't know. I mean, based on points and uh, total goals conceded, he's going to be very down, down low. You know, he hasn't had the best defence in front of him, but I think he's been fantastic. But, um, you know, that doesn't mean anything, unfortunately, because... The best keeper in the league this year, there's only one choice really, isn't there? And that is Petr Cech. I mean, what can you say? A, an absolute professional. He's a very nice guy, very humble. And um, he's, you know, helps Chelsea get the best defensive record in the league. It's as simple as that. It helps having a good defenders in front of him, um, which we'll get onto in a minute. But I think Petr Cech has been, you know, the best keeper in the league by some distance. Now we're going to go into defence. Now right back, there is only one option for me, and that is Coleman. Coleman, for me, best right back in the league, not because of his defensive qualities, but going forward, he has propelled Everton this year um, into almost, and I say almost, top four. Um, just missing out on it towards the end of the weeks here where they've lost a couple of games. But Coleman is one of the reasons why Everton have definitely done well this year. And uh, well done to him. I think he was £60,000 or something. That must be the bargain of the century. What a player. Would love to see him at Arsenal, but I know obviously that's crazy and would never happen. But I think he would fit in there because of the style he plays. You know, very forward thinking. And it seems like Sanya is on his way. But anyway, now another very controversial one. Centre back. There is only one choice here for me. Actually, he plays the other side, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna stick to positions if I can, and that is John Terry. I think oh, it's just unbelievable. I think he's been the, the surprise of the season because he kind of under um the old Chelsea managers up till Mourinho, he didn't really play as consistently as he does now. And I think Mourinho's put his trust in him and his experience is showing and Terry is having a fantastic season. I think the best centre-back in the in the Premier League this year. I honestly think that and uh, it's crazy. You know, I didn't think that would happen. But um, as the other centre-back, I'm going to do the, the player that I think could have but isn't in there and that is Mertesacker. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're an Arsenal fan, you're being impartial, you're not being fair, you're being biased, that's the word I'm looking for, because I've picked an Arsenal player. But if you look at the stats, Mertesacker and Koscielny have done very well this year, except from three results away from home, which has completely ruined their record for them. And that's why they won't be in the team of the season. But had those three results not happened, I think Mertesacker or even Koscielny could be in here. But um, we're actually going to go with another Chelsea player. And that, for me, is Cahill. He's already got a most consistent card. I'm not sure if that means he won't get a Team of the Season card. But um, I've heard some people saying that it doesn't matter. They can feature in two. But I don't know. I'll leave that down to you guys to uh, to wait and see if it happens or not. But Cahill and Terry, two Chelsea players. And check, three Chelsea players already. And, um, yeah, but they've, they've, they've got the best defensive record. It's as simple as that. And I think these two are the reasons why. Left back, easy choice. It's another Chelsea player, which is absolutely crazy. But as Piliqueta, originally a right back, Mourinho's had a stroke of a masterclass there, and he's put as Piliqueta at left back, and it has served him well. He is fantastic there, and he can play right back as well, of course. Still, he could play there. But at left back, there's something about him, and I think he's done very well this season. And, you know, it, what else can I say? I mean, you could put Ivanovic at right back, I guess, and you could have a completely Chelsea back five. 
Um, but I think Coleman was just that little bit better at right back. But other than that, there isn't anyone beating these four, if you ask me. But it could be quite controversial. So I know if you guys have different opinions, you'll probably be pissed off with me. Um, but who else should be there? Just leave a comment and uh, I'll definitely read through them. But be constructive, like I said. But now we're going to move on into midfield. One choice at right mid who, you know, potentially shouldn't be there, if you know what I mean, because he's a bit more of a central attack. Oh my God, I've spelt it wrong. What an idiot. Um, he, he hasn't really played on the right this season, but he, he has at times. And when he has played there or in the middle, he's been fantastic. And that is Lalana. I think he's going to go to the World Cup. I hope he does. I think he's a, a brilliant player. Um, but he's only come to, to light in this season. It's weird. I, I didn't really, you know, see, hear much about Lalana before this season. And it shows what can happen when your team has a good season and you're part of that that team. And he has he has done very, very well. Um, now we're going to go into left mid because, well, that's easy as well. But Hazard for me has been a standout player this season and a well-deserved 91 in form card there. I can't think of anyone else who could be on the right who's had a fantastic season. I mean, a consistent, completely fantastic season the whole of the year. Um, now that's when this gets interesting. I'm going to put this guy here because I don't think he should be in the team, but I think he deserves a mention Aaron Ramsey, yes, I know, Arsenal player, oh, MGH being biased again. Aaron Ramsey has been one of the best players this year. If he didn't get injured, I guarantee it, he would be in this squad. But because of that injury, spending three months out, I think it was, or two and a half months, he doesn't get in because he hasn't played the whole season. And it's difficult to judge what he would have been like, you know, it's what he has been like. That's what we're looking for in these players and unfortunately, I don't think, you know, that injury helps him much there. So instead, it's obviously got to be the, the obvious choices. You've got Toure there and Gerard on the left. I think I'm typing way too quickly. Still, I've got the <laughs> got the keyboard behind the mic, so I can't really type. But Gerard, I, I, I was a little bit unsure about putting Gerard in this squad. But then, you know, you look at Liverpool and how well they've done. 11 wins in a row up till now against Chelsea. He has been a big part of that. It's as simple as that. There are other choices. Um, I thought maybe for a second that you could go for Ericsson. I think he has been one of the better players this season for Tottenham. But is, has he been good enough to get in this team? Probably not. And then there's one other choice you could go with. And that is Schneiderlin, who's already got the most consistent. Um, he's done very well for Southampton as well. But I think really it is Gerrard. He's got to be in there. And uh, hopefully you guys agree with me. Now, it's very easy going for the strikers. There's only two choices. I can't fucking type with this mic in the way. Suarez and Sturridge. It's as simple as that. These two have been the best players up front in this season. And I think that is probably the main reason Liverpool are up there. I think had they not had the goals from Suarez and Sturridge, well, obviously they wouldn't be where they are. But they, that I wouldn't say they've carried Liverpool. And a lot of people think they have. I don't think that's true. I think Suarez is a phenomenal player and he would probably score 30 goals in any league. But Sturridge and Suarez together, I think they are just, they're, they're the perfect combo. They know each other very well, each other's game, I mean. They probably know each other as well outside of the football club very well. Um, but they, they just make a really awesome combination. And uh, that, that is my team, guys. I can't think of anyone else that I really do think would fit into this squad. I, I am a little bit unsure about Lalana on the, the right because he is more of a central player. But he, he does play on the wing, so I think he's okay there. Um, but yeah, as usual guys, look, this is just my opinion. I wanted to do a video about it to see what you guys think. Um, leave some comments. Let me know if you think there should be anyone else in this team. But um, in total, oh, we've got to do manager, haven't we? I I'm going to go with Pulis. He's not even in the game. Wow. <laughs> okay, looks like we're going with Rogers then. Brendan Rogers. there you go. Um, this team would have 100 chemistry, obviously, but Lalana is a cam, so that doesn't work. I don't think he's got a right mid, has he? Uh, the squad rating would be 72, three and a half stars. Position, bleh, position changes two, um, doesn't really matter. But the price of this team, you're looking at around three million on Xbox and PS3, and almost four and a half million on PC. Uh, the attacking would be 87, 85 midfield, and 83 defence, which is very, very good. An average pace of 78, shot 74, pass 76, dribbling 78, the highest stat there um, with pace. We've got defending 71. I thought I'd be higher to be honest. And the heading would be 77. But uh, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you next time.